I will say back again, I would like to wish every Dominican a happy independence 2015. Agus Wayne, and welcome everyone to Agus with Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Junis Wayne. Today's video feature, I'm going to show you how you can transplant your rosel or sorry seedling in a pot in order to grow your own plant in a pot if you have limited land or if you would like to actually grow one in a pot for to see how to be for you this Christmas season. Now in this pot right here, what I did actually, I brought my soil seedling from seed. I grew it up from seed, but I'm going to show you how to do that, but most likely I have to do an update in another video on going from seed. But I'll transplant a seedling today in a pot so that you could see how you could actually do it. If you don't have a lot of land space, or if you have actually no land space, and you're renting a house perhaps, but you have a large veranda or a large balcony, you could actually grow your soil seedling in a pot and leave it there so that it can grow and be for you for Christmas season, or perhaps in January, February. So let's go ahead and transplant the rosal seedling in a pot. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some stones. encourage proper drainage now I don't usually put stones in my pot but I'm just doing it for you to see and the importance of putting it if you have a pot that's not draining too well because you need to ensure that your pot have good drainage so that your plants do not actually decompose from root to rot next I'm going to add a smaller type of stone Now I'm going to add another stone that is actually, I think it's working well in terms of retaining some bit of moisture and it's actually a stone, a very small river stone. So it's basically, I got some river sand and I picked it out and I got the smaller bit of stones. I find it's retaining moisture sort of well for being only stone, so not actually soil, but I find it works well in terms of retaining moisture. So I'm just going to put that at the bottom here now, and then I'm going to add in soil. Also, I'd like to advise if you get some very light soil, do that, because for pot you don't want too much of a heavy soil. Okay, then you add some soil, not a lot, because you don't want to put too much soil as yet, and you'll see why. Okay, so this is the reason why. Now if you had too much soil in there, then if you put in your seedling, it will be something like this. I'm trying my best to get it for you to see. It will be about 2 inches or 3 inches off from the rim of the container and you don't want that. So you just put some soil at the bottom. Now you take out your seedling. Yeah, that's nice. It's already starting to come out at the bottom. And just put it there. So our seedlings are not too sensitive in terms of transplanting them, so even if it break up a bit, don't worry. <coughs> the next one. Nicely. Put it right there. The next one, put the seed on right there. So, if you put like this, it'll be like between three of them. So, what we're gonna do now, actually, we're gonna fill it up with soil up to the base of the seedling. There you have it. Well, let me show you how to put your do-it-yourself water globe. Now at the first instant, when you transplant your seedling, you have to wet it. So what I would advise you to do, before you actually put your do-it-yourself water globe, take another bottle. If you want to actually use the same bottle, but do it before you actually put it water. Have another one so I, so I put water now. 
take the empty bottle and then you squeeze downwards and take it out, try your best to take it out too. you want to leave that, that well defined hole a bottle of water carefully and quickly fill it over Now of course, press it down, let it get a custom, and there you have it. If you're going to use your do-it-yourself water globe, mm -hmm. I really suggest that you get a taller pot. Now as I told you, I add the gravel in, but I'm not very comfortable with the gravel being in there with such a small container and the water globe. So if you're going to do this, try to get a longer, a taller, a wider container or pot and then adding your gravels at the bottom and your stones or whatever you call it, or pebbles, add it at the bottom and then put your water globe. But I just did this for you to see how you could actually do it. But if you're going to do it, I really suggest that you get a taller pot because you don't want the mouth of the bottle or basically the end of the bottle as it is upside down. You don't want it to be too close to the gravel and the stone that the water actually drains out too quickly. Thank you very much for liking our videos and for subscribing to our YouTube channel. But let me apologize for our WhatsApp accounts, Instagram and Twitter. Because of the fact that my phone got damaged, I am no longer able to access these accounts or at least I am no longer able to update these accounts with pictures and videos. So as soon as the new phone is available, these accounts will be active again. They are not deactivated but they are just inactive for the time being. But you could also send us a message on our Facebook page, French Community Report. And we do apologize for this inconvenience. Thank you very much and I will wait. Peace out.